Good morning. It's about 7 a.m. Here's the start of the new week. After recording and editing last week's entire week, I realized how I wasn't efficient with the information I was delivering and I wasn't concise and I was talking for so long and the editing was just so long. And I kept repeating the stuff I'd say in the morning and the things I'd say at the end of the day. So now going forward, I know I want to just keep things nice and short and concise after I made this coffee and we we'll go upstairs and we're gonna start doing our one hard set. And then the plan is to hit boxing later tonight. So I'm gonna get adjusted, sip on my coffee and I'll see you guys when I do my workout. Good morning guys. As you just saw, we finished with the workout this morning. I think the one hard set is gonna be really good just in terms of time saving. I have homework and a whole day to get through. And when I was doing these super long workout sets before, like in last week, my mornings would take just an hour plus. And it's just like, no, dude, I just need to get to work. Like work is the most important thing to get done. That, that's what's gonna push my needle forward. So I'm really trying to condense my morning routine into it with an 80-20 philosophy. What 20% of inputs slash actions I can take that lead me to 80% of the results. And so, you know, by doing a one set hard set, where I just max out the pull-ups I can do for the day, the push-ups and the squats, there's gonna be some stimulation to my muscles and my lats and stuff. And if I do this every single day, then I'm able to show up every single day. Rather than pushing my limits, if I did two to three hard sets, then I'd be wiped out. I'd have to recover the next day and the next day. We're gonna test it out. This is what experimenting is about. And I'm doing this mostly because I would like to start going to boxing Monday through Friday. And so if I don't I completely soar during the day, then that leaves me time to, so I think I wanna kinda create a, a, a fitness lifestyle around boxing rather than the calisthenics. I think I wanna use calisthenics as the supplement to helping me in boxing. And you know, I'm starting off with, I'm starting off with this low amount so that I can show up consistently every day. That's like the most important part. The hardest part in any habit is to show up. <laughs> like literally having your foot inside the door to start the habit because a lot of people just don't even show up that's why like a lot of people when you're getting into the gym advice a lot of personal trainers will have for you is put on your shoes put on your outfit go to planet fitness and go for 10 minutes and then leave and they'll have you do that for a week maybe two it depends on like your level of like oh this is so unbearable i hate working you know like they're if you're that type of person they will do that to you so some food for thought so it's 740. I'd actually start working out at eight o'clock, but yesterday I was I was drafting up morning routines and I was like, you know what, I need to just do this workout and recording just first thing, get that out of the way, and then I can do my meditation stuff, I can do everything else, um, and then just go off to a cafe or library to just do my work for the day. So I'm feeling good, I'm not feeling dead. It's good. And I didn't force it with my squats today like I did in last week, and I literally threw up last week, so um, overall, good workout. I did like eight pull-ups. I got up to 40 push-ups and 40 squats. Today's Monday. We have a whole week ahead of us. Hope you guys have a beautiful week, beautiful day, and uh, um, I'll see you later for boxing or tomorrow's video. Alright, adios. Alright guys, I just wanted to quickly show you the shower system that I do after the workouts. So, I'm gonna keep it very simple. So, here we have the shower. So over here, we have the shaving mirror. Over here, dude, this used to be stacked with just random assortments. So now that's my brother's side. This is my side, body wash. I use this if you're curious. I use this for shampoo, verb. Use this for my face wash. And then I just have a random shaving cream. And this is the shower system right here. So obviously we have my toothbrush. That's the exfoliating scrub for my face. And that's the exfoliating thing for my body. So as you can see, it has all these silicone bristles. This is supposed to be used for your scalp, it claims. I don't really, I mean, I kind of use it, but nothing crazy. There we have my shaver, toothpaste that doesn't want to fit. <laughs> and yeah, and then below we have the foot scrub. So I don't have to bend down. And <clears throat> I just take one of those and I just spray it. Then I wash my feet. It's basically the shower system go in there. I basically have a minute to two minutes for each activity. I'm trying to save water and I'm trying to save time. Everything is essential in there and I can do everything I need in the shower. I don't have to get out. And then once I do exit, once I step out, then all I need to do is go over there, 
just apply some lotion. After the lotion, you apply your deodorant, and then you apply your cologne, and you get dressed, and then boom. So that's, this should be like 10, 15 minutes. So prepare your shower, guys. Make a shower system so you can get in and out. Don't fucking waste water. So what are we doing right after that shower system? Because I also brush my teeth in that, I like to wait just like 10 minutes before I start eating my breakfast because I need that protein to grow my muscles. First, what we're gonna do is look over this briefly for five minutes. This is a part of the Maxi Pro Arlen Moore course. If you watched last week's video, you heard about it. And then after that brief intention building, then I'm gonna do a maxi meditation. And there's one specifically I'm gonna do, it's the um, manifest meditation. And it's primarily just a visualization of your future self and the future life you're living. Just wanted that quick update for you guys. This is the incense we're gonna be sparking up today. Food is blessing. It just smells pretty good, but. So master vision, gonna read it and then meditate. And then after we're gonna cook some breakfast. Today I'm experimenting. I'm gonna just be recording all the activities I'm doing. Let's see if I edit anything in. All right, peace. No, why am I dropping everything today? Holy fuck. Valentine's Day and uh, I am single on this Valentine's Day but you know what I have that I'm married to push-ups pull-ups and squats so that's what I'm gonna be doing today yesterday was a good run we had a good one hard set and then we were able to go to boxing so I have the same intention today I'm about to do a hard set right now and then later today I want to go into boxing be sipping on this coffee a little more and we'll get right into it have a blessed day guys have a blessed morning, blessed week, sending you abundance and health, wealth, and happiness. All right, let's cross this shit today. All right. So, we're done with the set today. I think I got to about 10 pull-ups. This time I decided to do it, because initially I was doing it like this. So today I did it like this to get more of my biceps so it would be a, a bit easier. And then when I went to do push-ups, I did like 35. And then just got done doing about 40 squats. So muscles got a bit of a uh, stimulus, let's just say. Now the game plan, as you saw for yesterday, we're gonna do the shower system quickly. We're gonna do our little read our master vision, brief meditation. Then we're gonna go make breakfast and then off to do homework in like a library, maybe a cafe. We'll, we'll see what I, what I pick. Booking that boxing class right now. So I'll see you on the other side. Have a great day, blessed day. Uh, if you're enjoying the video so far, make sure to hit that like. Make sure to comment. If you got any questions for me to answer, I can answer them in the next video. And make sure to subscribe to keep along with the journey. I'm trying to do this uh, weekly. So if, that's, if that seems of interest to you, following along, bro. Book the session. All right, we're done for the day. See you later. So why am I chilling in my bed right now? Well, first off, let's talk about yesterday. So yesterday, did my one hard set, and then I went to boxing. But when I went to boxing, bro, and I was throwing those jabs, like, man, it's not that it hurt, hurt, but like, it had some like level of soreness that, you know, I was not able to do my full power just the whole night. And it's, I feel like it's still kind of there. I don't know, man. But my objective is to go to these 45 minute classes every day and in my head I'm not I'm not trying to avoid any workouts but my only reason for skipping a workout just a one hard set this morning is just to give my body a chance to like rest so that later today at like six o'clock I can go and not be as strained I guess I don't know you know this morning was a bit messed up I was uh, starting with some technology I was watching some stuff on my, my iPad I don't know, I might just take a, take a little bit of this morning to just chill out, rest, just to let my body recover a bit. I plan on going to boxing later today. I'm gonna do my meditation, 
master vision and then make breakfast and then I have a meeting later today with a buddy of mine so I'm really looking forward to that we're gonna be just discussing our goals objectives and helping each other out with our our own projects so I'm really looking forward to that I'm really excited something I need to do more to push myself is to engage in a lot more conversations with other people and you know I, I've been heavily heavily isolated for the my entire life I'd say but these past couple of years and you know, I just need to put myself out there a lot more. Just meeting guys, meeting women, just everybody. I gotta just, you just gotta say hello. Right now, it's gonna start with just, you know, meeting other ambitious guys. I'm just trying to find like-minded individuals that are like, around my same age. I mean, obviously I would love to have mentors that are older than me and doing well, so I can look to them for advice. You know, I need to start surrounding myself with a brotherhood that is gonna propel me forward, but propel, that, like everyone propels forward and, or rises as a group together, so. I'm excited to have that meeting with my old buddy. I'm just gonna take it easy today. Today's Wednesday and it's 7.18. All right, so have a beautiful day, blessed day. Any other updates for Wednesday will be after this clip here. You know, I'm gonna take it easy and I'm gonna head to boxing later today. Adios. All right, Wednesday morning update. Just wanna let y'all know, I decided to take this opportunity to start editing. So, you definitely just watched the Tuesday section. So this is in the Wednesday section. So just to let y'all know, I wasn't just going to waste this morning. I'm at least going to do something a little bit productive. So yeah, see you in the next clip. Your boy just got done with boxing. Nice and sweaty. Trying to whip it out of here. Good morning. Yesterday, we didn't do any calisthenics work, but we did go to boxing. I'm debating if I should go today. All right, all right. You know, I've been trying to go every single day. I don't know if I've been wrapping my hands incorrectly. That's kind of like the thought that popped up in my mind, but doing some punching, like there just be some moments where it's not that I hit with my thumb ever, but it's just like something is going on. Like right now they're kind of sore. Like my thumbs, it's fucking weird. I don't know if I was wrapping them incorrectly and then like as I'm punching and all the, you know, the force of it just fucks it up. I don't know. I don't know if this will be seen in the camera, but my a cut from boxing and I've just been punching and it's this is like the worst area because it's so sensitive but it's like where everything lands constantly and it's just like I can't go as powerful as I want with all these little like pains it's just it's just frustrating so I don't I don't know if I'll go today because I don't even think like my hands have that kind of power right now whatever it could change in the later or i might go just to like speak with the people there to kind of explain what's going on and be like should i rest should i not so today is a new day today's thursday the main priority of the day is to uh, get homework done because exam that i need to get done by this weekend a few days to really just focus on that exam and prepare for it and then should be good i should be good i will dominate you're good, Cisco. Dude, anxiety just fucking blows. Like, I barely feel any emotion in my body, but anxiety is the one that just fills up from my, like, my gut and chest, and it just permeates throughout my whole body. It's just like, it's like, yeah, you're a useful mechanism to, like, say, save my life, but sometimes you just have some trivial-ass concerns, body. Like, what the fuck? Subconsciously programming myself, and I'm gonna say, I will dominate today. I will dominate everything, and... I'll be good, like, like, if I study, 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 and I still don't perform too high, it's like, at that point, it, like, it is what it is. But I've been maintaining my homework, doing everything I've asked of me, so if you get bad scores on your tests and shit, like, your other grades should help carry you up, and, like, there's no, like, you can only fail with an F, so if you don't do any work, then you get an F. I've always been an A, B student, so, so yeah, I'm gonna get adjusted, sip on my coffee some more, and then we'll do a brief set and then go into the daily routine, or I guess the morning routine of Maxi Master Vision. We'll do a Maxi Meditation. Well, actually, before that, we'll do the shower system after I work out, and then we'll do the meditation stuff, Master Vision stuff, breakfast, and then we'll head out to the library today, get done with that class. See you in the next clip. Whew. All right, guys, so just busted out that quick set, and. So that's the stopwatch right now. Completed this in eight minutes and 20 seconds. So, all I was able to do was 10 pull ups. I did it with this variation again, then did 30 push ups, and then I took a, a little bit of a break there. That's why 
This could have been maybe like seven minutes if I shortened that break in between the push-up and squat, but then for the squat, I did 30. So those sound like small numbers, but again, those were just done in one go. I do take some breaks when it's like really burning, but I take a few seconds and then I get back into it because I, I push to a point where it's like, okay, now I'm not able to like lift my body or push my legs. So, and also we have to remember, I have boxing class that stacks onto this. So, you know, I am doing squats and all these ab workouts and push-ups during those boxing sessions. So it's like, just because I'm only doing a small number in the morning doesn't mean I'm not doing that many in the whole day, if that makes sense. So yeah, now it's time to get on with the day. We got our tasks to do. Just wanna thank you for staying this far and staying, sticking along with the journey. This is only week two. It's a very slow and cumbersome process, but that's the day-to-day -day grind, bro. Like, you can't escape it. You just have to like, you know, if you want results, you have to commit every single day towards your goal. Even if it's 1% better, you know? That Kaizen philosophy, 1% better in every day because the alternative is you do nothing and that'll leave you in the place of you know complacency or stagnation but sometimes being too long in this with my incremental progresses it's a small linear up going because it's it's one percent and it's going to take like 30 days for that to turn to 30 percent you know what i'm saying or um but if i do nothing then i'm just going to stay flat there's no progress but sometimes that stagnation kind of starts going in a, in a decline because your stagnation will reflect into other things of your life like your mental health when there when there's no acc accolades to to flex on others when you don't really have achievements and you're just a human existing you kind of get to this this crisis of boredom honestly that's kind of like the way to put it in that boredom is like it'll just drive you crazy because there's nothing w like worthy of living for i guess i have greater ambitions for myself so that's why I'm trying to chase a uh, shredded physique and things of that nature because that physicality will reflect in all areas of life when I meet people and speak with people I will project a specific aura I will project discipline I will project power just because of the size that you know that took years of discipline to cultivate it'll reflect in all my actions going forward especially my mentality I'll be a lot more uh, mentally resilient than a lot of other people when you can push through the the gruesome workouts and do it day after day after day a lot of you know most like 99 percent of humans just don't even care about their fitness so you working out just a little bit per day is going to put you in the top one percentile even if you're not where you think you you should be or anything like i'm technically a one percenter right now because i'm dedicating to daily exercise no matter how small which is crazy that's why we need to make it a movement to incorporate more people, more people, more people. We can't be these lazy, weak fucks, bro. We can't. All right, long-winded outro. Time to get on with the day. Let's crush it today. Have a great one. Bye. Good morning. Hopefully you're having a beautiful day. We made it to Friday. So let's recap what happened yesterday. So yesterday we did the one hard set, and then we were able to make it to boxing. So we made it to boxing for four days in a row. <laughs> Clapping for myself. Um, I'm really proud. I kept up with that consistency and making it a day after day. Even with soreness in different areas of my body, I was still able to push myself to go. So update about yesterday's class. The soreness I mentioned before about my thumbs, it's like, it's occurring here. It's, it's preventing me from going full force. And I also had like cuts on my knuckles. You can't really see it, but I just have like a split. And then I've just been punching on top of that. So I think that might've been like a hand wrapping issue. So now I'm hand wrapping the knuckles a lot thicker. So I think this will just eventually heal, go away and I'll be fine. When I've been punching, I think I've just, I've been punching incorrectly and there's just sometimes I like kind of um, stub my, my thumb. I'm going like bum 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 and like just some some throws are just like my thumb just gets hurt I'm just th you know throwing some incorrectly and I asked the coach yesterday and I was like dude my freaking thumbs hurt like what what the hell is that and he's like you know you're probably just throwing incorrectly you're landing on it he was like make sure you're putting your your thumb through the loop of your boxing wrap I'm like yeah bro I'm doing that at least so <laughs> but this is actually affected like I don't even I can't even believe how much this little piece of your body affects everything else. Like, 
I was trying to just do push-ups just to test, and, bro, it hurts. Like, this, just being uncomfortable, makes the entire experience uncomfortable at working out. But I think I'm going to take this day as the rest day. Like, I don't, I don't even plan on boxing later, because I need to get these thumbs to heal. I just need my body to kind of... Because I haven't been able to go 100%, bro. I've been, like, like, like 50 to 70%. Like, as much as I try, it's just, like, I have, like, my physical body holding me back because there's either some pain in my shoulder, some pain in my thumbs, some pain in my knuckles. So, I think my body should just, you know, maybe rest the next three days going into next week. And then Monday through Friday, maybe I'll be, I'll be set to... Today's um, tasks are, we got some, we got one class left to deal with for the week. And, you know, I gotta go through my daily routine of the... I think what I might do for this morning is do a longer meditation set. Um, I've been keeping it very short, but if I'm going to not do my workouts today, I think I should work out my mind. And by working it out, it's simply just putting it into a state of boredom, a state of peace and tranquility by just breathing. You know, I don't know if I'll do a guided meditation or not, but I think I'll do a blend. So I think that's something on the agenda for sure. To have like a nice slow morning to build up that mental resilience by being able to sit in that silence. For the people watching, I've also started a sub stack. Now a sub stack is just a platform that's like a newsletter platform that you can choose to either have a paid subscriptions or not. Right now I don't have a paid subscription, but you can sign up to my newsletter. I'm not consistent with it. My plan is to be. I don't know if it's going to be like a daily thing or just weekly. But if you sign up with your email, you can get just um, notifications every time I do a new post. And I want my newsletter to be um, a place I post educational resources. A lot of it's going to be like brain dump writings. I do very long form writings. They're not in condensed paragraph forms. They're like, I go line by line. So they're very easy to just read and scan through. You know, I talk a lot about creativity, the power of your vessel, the power of your mind and your consciousness and the power of your creativity, how much, you know, I, I just talk so much about human potential, how every person is a creative, unique being with their unique story to give back to the world. We, we're waiting on the innovators that are going to build the new product that's, you know, helps everyone on earth. There's maybe a service, there's maybe whatever the fuck it could be. I write about that. I, I like to write about that at least, like... It's, it's, it's a blend of so much. It's business, it's marketing, it's branding, it's psychology, it's philosophy, it's... I was about to say metaphysics, but it's like, I don't even write to that extent and that level. But I just mean like, there's complexities of the universe that I'm figuring it out, and I'm doing that through writing. So it's a blend of just talking about life, lifestyle, how to get from point A to point B, and things of that nature. So as I'm figuring it out, I'm putting stuff onto there. So, it's supplemental to videos. Um, if you're a reader, I recommend it. If you're not, well then, you're fucked. Because you should be a reader. <laughs> but, yeah, just want to drop that little thing there. Yeah, so I'm going to be recovering. Again, I'm very proud of myself. I went for four days straight. So, it's not like I've been a lazy bum. I think I deserve it. I'm going to take it easy today. Mad love. Mad respect for you. Thank you for watching all the way to, up to the Friday. Come on now. We'll see if we have any other updates. You'll see after this clip. I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you for watching. You know, this is only week two. Cisco's gonna be... Dude, imagine... You know, imagine by week ten. What is this all gonna look like? I, I, I have no idea. I have no idea. If you have any content suggestions, bro, please let me know. Please let me know. If I start getting some viewers on this bitch and... I need some comments. I need to engage with the crowd. I really want to engage with the community. You know, get that feedback. Really serve you guys the best way I can. In the, in, the, in the best way I can express in my authentic raw self. So, peace. Let's have a good day. Adios.